Welcome back to Inside Look at Southeastern Football with Mike Lucas, presented by North Oaks Health Systems. Let's go out to the Louisiana Superdome as the Lions kicked off the season against FBS opponent, the Tulane Green Wave. Our guys are really fired up coming out at the Dome, excited about the ball game. I, I thought we played hard from beginning to end. Uh, it was an exciting day for us down at the Dome. Our captains for the opening game were uh, Devin Botwell and Josh Penton. And uh, you know, here we have uh, true freshman kicker Ryan Adams kicking off for us. Good depth on the kickoff to the five yard line. But uh, they came back across the field. We were trying to squeeze it into the left boundary and they came back across the field with it. This young man uh, from uh, O'Perry Walker did a great job returning kicks for them. First play of the game, uh, nice tackle there by Ricky Irvin, first tackle of the season. Then we've got them on third down. Good play here by Todd Washington, knocking the ball out. So even though they start down inside the 20 yard line, uh, we hold them to a field goal attempt. That was a big play by our defense, uh, holding him there, not giving him a touchdown. Then as they turn around and kick the ball off to us, uh, Jordan Wells, who had a great game and kickoff return. We got some big blocks up front, some pins up there. Antoine Duplessis had a big block. We get the ball out past the 50 yard line, get our offense in great field position. We start off the game with a flare pass to uh, Antoine Duplessis. You know, Antoine's a transfer from Tulane. We wanted to get that ball in his hands uh, on the very first play. Nice pass from BJ. And as we're moving with our no huddle offense, this was a big third down play on a, a shallow route to true freshman Carl Pearson. Had a very nice game for us. Here's a nice run by Zeke. Physical up the field on the safety. Play action pass. Another throw to Carl Pearson, get the ball inside the five yard line. And this is our unity package where we've got uh, some offensive guys and some defensive guys. We've got some defensive guys in the backfield uh, acting as fullbacks. Give the ball to Big Zeke and uh, we run the power in for a touchdown. Seth Sebastian on the extra point. We go up seven to three on our first drive. It's great to be able to start off the first drive of the season. Here's a nice run out of our shotgun offense. Uh, Sam Fairley, nice run down their sideline. Here we do a little shift. We get uh, Brandon Collins back into a running back position in the backfield. Nice run by Brandon. We want to try to get the ball into his hands as many ways as we possibly can. As the quarter changes, again, get the ball off to Zeke. Good blocking up front by our offensive line. Corey Booth pulling from right to left as the pulling guard did a great job picking up their linebacker. And then uh, Coach Webb calls a blitz. And uh, Tay Offord playing linebacker for us comes through on the blitz and we get a sack. They punt the ball down in deep and uh, we're coming out of our own end zone. Nice run there by Michael Cheney for an eight yard gain. We've got to get the ball out whenever we're pinned down like this. Uh, I thought we could have had a pass interference call there as BJ makes a throw to Brandon. We don't get the call. Have to punt the football back. Uh, that was another third down play. We had a chance to stop. And then play action pass. We don't get any pressure on the quarterback and they double moved our corner. And uh, on the post corner route, they throw a long touchdown pass. Here's another kickoff return by Jordan Wells. Very good blocking up front. Jordan gets a crease. You can see his acceleration there, getting the ball up the sideline. Again, getting the ball out to the 50 yard line for our offense. Nice throw here by BJ. Catch by Brandon Collins on the flood route. Good call by Coach Rudolph. And then we're in tight. Again, the same play that we've run. The power to the left. Uh, this time Sam Fairley with Corey Booth pulling around blocking in front of him. And another extra point by Seth Sebastian. So we're hanging close here, 24-21. We want to try to keep him off the scoreboard here at the end of the second quarter. Uh, another screen play against the blitz. We miss a couple tackles. Uh, give him a first down. Again, that was another third down play. We've got to do better on third down. And here our corner has to stay outside and do not let the run down the sideline. Robert Offord allows the 
running back outside and they score a touchdown. Coach, 31-21 at half. And before we get into you know any breakdown, talk about the new offensive scheme this year as obviously a very high-paced offense for your ball club. Well, at the end of last season, we felt like we needed to make some changes. And, and Coach Rudolph and the staff uh, traveled up to Oregon and spent over a week up there with those guys. And when we came back for spring ball, it's one of the reasons why we closed spring practice. Uh, I know a lot of our fans were wondering, why did we close spring practice and not have a spring football game? Well, we were doing something totally new. And, and uh, you know, we wanted some privacy with doing it and not let Tulane know about it, you know, them being right down the road. So, but uh, we're going fast. You know, we're trying to snap the ball at any, every 12 to 18 seconds. Um, and still getting personnel on and off the field. So, uh, as I said, I was very, very proud of our offensive staff and our players and the way they executed. Well, Coach, 31-21 at half. Talk about something that stands out from that first half. Well, just uh, we, we couldn't stop them defensively. You know, we, we kept scoring on offense, uh, special team-wise. Now, we had great effort on, on special teams. I, you know, watching the video on Sunday, I expected to see uh, – lack of effort kind of things I didn't well we played hard now guys a lot of freshman guys in that group uh, we, we just got out of our lanes on the kickoff and you know freshman guys running down the field we've got to uh, be a little more disciplined it wasn't it wasn't from uh, a lack of eagerness you know they were hustling and uh, and being physical at the point of attack uh, they've got to know how to respond when they get double teams and kick-ins and kick-outs and those kind of things but uh, you know when you play an FBS opponent you know, they're sitting there at 85 scholarships and we're sitting at 63. And I always say this when we play those kind of opponents. A lot of the difference will be in special teams. There's 22 scholarship guys that, that, uh, that they're using on special teams where we, we played a lot of freshmen. You know, last year in the 2010 season, we had 23 uh, scholarship freshmen and we redshirted 20 of them. Uh, this year, we have 20 scholarship freshmen and all of them traveled except two. So it's a totally different end of the spectrum. Um, we played a lot of young guys, and it showed up in the kicking game. 52 total points in the first half, and the Lions very much in the game at halftime. Let's go back out to Superdome and check out the second half highlights. Here we go, third quarter. We get the ball outside to Simi right off the bat. Nice throw by BJ, run at the end of the play. Good job by, by Devin Botwell. Here we get a sack by Devin Walker, our second sack of the game. Uh, they throw a play action pass. And uh, again, we bust the coverage in the back end and we give them a long play all the way down to the 10 yard line. Nice job up front there by uh, linebacker Caleb Muse, nice tackle. Then on the next play, Darkwall runs in for the touchdown. BJ steps up in the pocket. Very nice throw, nice touch pass there to Carl Pearson. Another play action pass throws to Corey Theodore. And we're going very, very fast here with our no huddle. Swing pass outside to Simi. Nice blocks downfield by the receiving core. We get the ball down inside the 10. We get sacked and we have to settle for a field goal. Seth Sebastian puts it through the uprights. Got to be able to get touchdowns down there instead of field goals. This was a nice job by Justin Church on this play, stringing out the sweep. Again, we come back with Nathan Stanley. He throws a shallow route to Simi. Nice run downfield here by Sam Fairley. And a screen pass that is set up wide open, but the throw hits an offensive lineman in the head, and uh, we have to settle for another field goal by Seth Sebastian. This was a great catch here, going up between three defenders by Brandon Collins. Brandon, as everybody knows, very athletic young man, goes up and makes a great catch there. Here again, another shallow route to Carl Pearson. Carl had a great game for a true freshman. Good job sitting in the pocket, finding the secondary receiver by BJ. Nice run here by Zeke. Our 
Our offense really created some problems on the perimeter. And then B.J. goes in for the touchdown on the quarterback sneak. We're, they're trying to run the football out here, trying to run up some clock. Good job by the defense running to the football. As you can see, we played very hard defensively the entire game. And uh, it's a shame, 14-point loss. Our kids played hard. Too many mistakes. Can't give up 47 points.